Hey gang, and today we're going to talk about writing, literacy, libraries, and bookbinding in Dwarf Fortress. And I know that sounds really exciting. This actually is um, a really interesting challenge because, so this whole paper and writing and, and bookbinding industry is uh, actually pretty new. And it was added, um, you know, relatively new in the development of Dwarf Fortress. And it's still a little buggy. Forgive me. I forgot to open this before the recording. Get ready. There it is. Okay. So bookbinding um, and libraries and stuff are relatively new and they're still, uh, I'll, I'll post all my links, all my resources, but it's still pretty buggy by all accounts. Still a little hard to get work, to get to work, rather. Um, that's not to say you can't do it. And I mean, that's the fun of Dwarf Fortress is, you know, a lot of like hacking your dwarves' personalities and like the nuances of the way that dwarves work, you know, the way they game makes decisions for them. Um, a lot of the fun is, is, is kind of forcing a very unique situation that, you know, creates the building blocks of, of life, or in this case, the building blocks of a written work. So I'm going to do my best to explain um, how to do this and the pitfalls that you can kind of fall into. So and like I said, all these links will be in the description here. I would recommend anytime you're trying to troubleshoot Dwarf Fortress, um, you're going to want to check out Bay 12 forums, which um, I believe is the official forums of, of Bay 12, of this development team, basically. Of this, it's the website of the people who make Dwarf Fortress. And their forums are quite are the best resource, besides maybe the Wikia, for troubleshooting specific scenarios. If you just Google your problem and specify Dwarf Fortress, a lot of, you know... A lot of times when you try to Google a problem in Dwarf Fortress, you end up on like a watch list instead, because it'll be something like, you'll say like, why are all my children dying? And then it's like, oh wait, Dwarf Fortress, in Dwarf Fortress. Or you'll say something like, um, uh, patient in hospital went insane and killed other patients in Dwarf Fortress. Otherwise, you're going to get some weird results. But so anything you Google, there'll be a Bay 12 forum uh, thread, sometimes spanning uh, years and years. But anyway, okay, so... I recommend Bay 12 forums, Stack Exchange, always very good, and the uh, the people there also like Dwarf Fortress. Um, Reddit, the R Dwarf Fortress community has also been really good recently because, you know, especially with Steam coming out and everything. And the Steam community, you know, steamcommunity.com as well has some good threads. So that's, okay, that's my troubleshooting blurb, but um, how do books work? So first, you have to set up a library. So that's under meeting zones. So, you know, you can make a meeting zone and you can make it a guild hall or a tavern or a library or a temple and you make it a library. And then in that setting here, we're looking at one of my libraries now and I actually built a second library for troubleshooting. I hope we, we're we going to have enough time. I'm going to talk fast and get into all of the things. So um, what was I saying? Not like this, we're not going to get to all the things. Okay, so no, but you set, you set a zone, and then you go into the settings, and you have to assign scholars. And this is one of the early mistakes I made. So scholars are the ones who will pontificate and think and talk about the issues that books get written about. Scribes will... I thought that a scribe had to be working in tandem with a scholar, but it turns out that a scholar will actually write their own book, and then scribes will make copies of that book that you can then sell and disseminate. So when you're first setting up your libraries, just make scholars. Squire, uh, scri squires. Uh, scribes are only for after you have some books written. So, okay, so now let's say you've done that. You've set up the zone, you've put, uh, you've assigned it as a library, you've assigned some scholars according to, you know, the most thoughtful dwarves, and the game will help you with that. We'll tell you, like, which ones have relevant skills. So you assign your most thoughtful dwarves to be scholars in this library. You set up bookcases. Uh, somebody corrected me during my first live stream, which was actually last night, um... By the way, catch those. Those are coming up live streams. Um, but somebody recommended that they need chests. So, all right, let me dive in. So now we've set up the library. Uh, we have scholars. We have bookcases. We have tables and chairs. That's another thing. We have tables and chairs so that um, scholars and scribes can sit down and write. And we're going to have, this was in one of the forum advices, we're going to have more tables and chairs than we think we would need because other random dwarves will, just like in real life, uh, the way the people will wander into a library just to hang out in the air conditioning uh, and, you know, maybe eat their lunch or something. They're not there for the books. Dwarves will do that too. So you have to make extra tables and chairs so that the scholar, the, the, the true nerds, can um, work in peace. And um, so tables and chairs, bookcases for the actual books. So somebody recommended in the live stream that you also need chests for the choirs and parchment uh, because the scholars will keep their choirs and parchment there so that they have something ready to write on when they're in the mood to. 
Uh, and that was a big thing that I had issues with troubleshooting because I was like really struggling to get the parchment and paper down to them. But they'll handle that themselves apparently with chests. And so somebody mentioned that on my last, last live stream and then I also confirmed that with my own research. So chests as well so that the scholars have pen and paper on hand when they're on the brief occasion that they're in the mood to actually write a book, they'll be ready and they can write it down. Um, so how do you get... So now let's talk about the material science of this. How do you get all the things you need? Um, like parchment and paper. So parchment is made from quicklime, which is synthesized from limestone and I forget what um, process turns limestone into quick lime but somebody actually mentioned that scrolls are for shorter works and quirns are for acquires are for larger works I still haven't defined uh, what acquire is so um, but, all right let me start from the beginning it's really you know I know I'm a little um, a little distractible when I narrate but this is also a very complicated game so bear with me so you get parchment from lime into limestone and then you can treat, I, I forget what you treat. I didn't go that route, um, parchment scroll route. I wanted paper into books. So I did, you crush plants, it's called, um, in the work orders, it's called slurry. So you mash plants into a slurry and then you press that slurry into paper, into flat paper. And that requires a quern or a millstone uh, to pulp it and then a screw press, I believe, to, to flatten it out, to press it into paper. And then from there you can make a choir, which I'll finally, now six minutes into the narration, define. Sorry, I'm, I'm really doing my best. A choir is a real thing that existed in the middle, in medieval times. Um, and it's basically a single piece of paper folded over itself eight times to make like, you remember when you were a kid and you would fold paper to make like a little booklet? That's basically what a choir is. And so, and then I, I know less about the parchment scroll thing, but once you have scrolls and once you have choirs, and then those are stored by scholars in chests in the library, then when they are in the mood, they will write on that and make an original book. Oh, you got to take a breath. Okay, so, um, and the reason, you know, I said that it was a little glitchy, glitchy is kind of a subjective term in Dwarf Fortress because, like, it's a very, um, not eccentric, but it's a very, not esoteric, it is a little esoteric and eccentric, but I'm trying to think of another word in there. Leave it in the comments if you can think of what word I'm, I'm trying to think of. But it is so um, unique and quirky that it's hard to tell what's intentional or not sometimes. Sometimes something's really hard and it feels like a glitch, but maybe you just don't understand deep enough. So, um, yeah, you'll see in the sources that I post the, the discussion of like ongoing bugs and how it's still kind of new. So one funny thing that... Uh, kind of funny and kind of I'm worried about it, um, is that the scholars that are pondering topics, and so far, here are the topics I've seen. Um, hardness, like, I, you know, I guess like geological hardness, like, like um, you know, what rocks are harder than others and why. Uh, the sun and seasons, uh, disease classification is, is another common one that I've seen my dwarves thinking about. Um, mechanics, mechanic topics. Um, so, but to finish that thought, uh, the funny thing or weird concerning thing is that the dwarves enjoy pondering uh, advanced topics. The scholars do. But they also stress themselves out thinking about it. So it's kind of like a, a net zero in terms of their um, overall mental health because they'll, they'll, you'll see a few times I'll pull up a scholar. Let's see. Pleasure, uh, nah, that wasn't fast enough. But you'll, ski, you'll see in this video as I pull up scholars that they feel interest, they feel contentment, they feel satisfaction uh, pondering things. But... Um, they also will feel irritated, annoyed, concerned, but uh, if they arrive at like a conclusion that's troubling, and that's very relatable, you know. I oh, so I wanted to show this mandatory nerd time. <laughs> this is my special burrow that forces applicable scholars and scribes into the library, and you see I have a, food, uh, a stockpile there that also includes food. The idea being they are locked in the library until they get some work done. Um, I've kind of given up on that because it turns out that it's coded so that like a scholar will. Only write a book if the conditions are just right and they're in the mood to, like, you should really only expect, like, a book occasionally, basically. And that's after investing all of this and letting the scholars basically dink around and do whatever they want for, like, years of in-game time. Um, there you go, ponder disease classification. Um, so it's definitely, you know, just like the real world, you know, the advanced uh, master studies are only for only for a society that has achieved some metric of leisure. So 
Um, but what else? What else did I run into for issues? So definitely getting the choirs to them. Oh, I talked about this in the live stream, but um, choirs and book bindings. Oh, I didn't even finish how to finish making a book. Oh my gosh. Um, so from the technical side, from the actual like supply and demand side, your scholars are just enjoying themselves in the library, but your other dwarves are going to have to be. I'm going to just talk about how I'm doing it. I don't know as much about parchment. Leave in the comments if you have any tips for how to complete scrolls in with parchment or anything. But for books, you're going to uh, mash plants into slurry. That's the first work order. Then you're going to take and you're going to need bags for that. Then you're going to take that slurry and you're going to press it in a screw press to make paper. Then you're going to make choirs out of the paper and leave them in a stockpile where scholars can get to them and add them to the chests in the library. That's my understanding of it. Then you're going to also want to have your drawers make book bindings out of, this is one of the ones like furni a lot of furniture. You can make it out of rock. You can make it out of wood. You can make it out of gold. There's actually specific reasons you're going to want to make it out of a specific material. And that has to do with a, another little quirk. We won't quite call it a glitch in the UI um, where book bindings and choirs and stuff count as technically tools. And they're such small esoteric tools that they're basically just stuffed into a um, designator that is very, very hard to find. It, it, it's especially hard to find and manage from the stockpiles. And you'll see this in the sources that I leave. Um, there's recommendations for that. Like, so because you can search stockpiles for certain classifications of items, but choirs and uh, book bindings ain't it, bro. So um, you have to like search in certain stockpiles by like what's made out of stone here. And then that'll kind of like highlight if you were careful enough to make only stone choir, uh, stone book bindings or stone um, or copper choir. I keep, let me try that again. If you had the foresight to only make, say, for example, silver book bindings, choirs are always going to be made out of paper. Choir, again, is the little fold-up book. It's, it's literally um, a medieval way of, of writing, and it's just a big piece of paper folded over itself eight times, so it makes, like, however many, in the, I don't know the math, however many pages that would be. Um, but, yeah, I think I got everything. Definitely do these do these readings, you know, that what I'm going to post, um, on your own. It is a especially tetchy, you know, even when I was, um, training my dwarves on archery, you know, there was like little, little things you had to do, like make sure that they're standing, unless they're like elite marksmen, they have to stand right in front of the fortification. And then, so you have to build like a special burrow that forces them to stand in front of the fortification. There's a lot of that with libraries where you have to, um, really micromanage specific dwarves that have the potential to be writers and scholars. Um, and you really just have to stay on them and like boss them around with burrows and then hope for the best and give them lots of leisure time. You really, it's like managing talent on a movie. You know, it's like they're the only ones who can do it, but they're, uh, they're going to, they're going to fill your day with challenges that you have to solve before they actually, actually start to do useful work. Um, all right. I think that's all I've mostly got. Um, actually, let me, you know what? I pulled up all of these sources. So let me just pull from a few, a few things I remember and I'll try to keep an eye on the time and not talk over it. Um, you guys have been doing so great about liking and subscribing and commenting. Um, I'm not even going to do the, the blurb. I love you guys. Thank you guys for being here with me. So, all right, I have all seven of these sources pulled open and I'm just going to look through them. So in the steam community, somebody says trying to start a library. And the second response is it's all in, in caps. I'll, I'll pretend to shout when I see in caps, it's a whole damn thing. Ah! That's the beginning of their advice. Uh, so that's the steam one and it is a whole damn thing. Ah. Uh, there's a very good red, this Reddit one is actually very good step-by-step -step on how to at least get it set up. It, you know, can't guarantee books, but, uh, you know, you can at least, you know, set it up and have your best shot at it. Uh, this, oh, I, one of these articles is a gamer journalist article and it's actually, it's pretty good. It's, you know, a lot of times you see game journalism articles and it's like, I don't think you know what this game is at all. But in this case, it's actually a great article. Uh, not bad at all. And then the Bay 12 ones. Uh, okay, so Bay 12 is saying, like, yeah, distinctions, like choirs versus scrolls, they're different. I have still have to learn that, sorry. Um, this is also the one where I learned to put extra tables because a lot of dwarfs are going to go in there to take their lunch and take up tables. Uh, one of these is, is about how hard choirs are to find in stockpiles because of the weird way that they're designated as, like, minor tools. So you can read about that. Um... Uh, this is the Stack Exchange for anything, any Google, anything you want to Google. Stack Exchange, in my experience, has been really, really good. Uh, has some information nobody else mentioned. Um, another Bay Twelve forums just talking about how they can't get their scholars to write. Somebody recommends making your medic scholars and doing again very micromanaging stuff to get them uh, get them to do what you want. 
How am I doing for time? I have um, great. I'm a, actually this is a rare example where I'm watching because I'm afraid I'm going to run out of time. Um, and then yeah, and then this this Reddit post is actually really good and detailed, and especially for beginners. Um, and sit down and write and be able to. Oh my gosh. And so in the Reddit, actually, I'm looking at the comments and they're talking about bugs that will get people like stuck in the library. Codices are bugged. It's a little buggy, but it's kind of like a stupid dwarf trick. Like we do this to prove that we're so good at this. Um, okay. I, that's really all I got. Uh, good luck to everybody. Uh, definitely share any books that your dwarves have written. If you manage to pull it off, um, I'll, I'll be doing that for sure. And yeah, live streams coming up soon. We have a discord. I'm going to mention that we do have a discord link in the description. Uh, join up. We're talking about Dwarf Fortress. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, yeah, love, love you all. Thanks, gang. I'll, I'll talk to you soon.